Hi everybody, welcome to Big Augie Golf. Currently, it's late morning and uh, Kelly, Golf Widow and I, are doing shopping. But that's fine, because as the clocks went forward, only a few days ago, I'm at Morecambe Porth Golf Club, my home club, and uh, it's mid-afternoon and I can still get the full round in. Fantastic. I'm gonna uh, show you a few holes today from 13 onwards probably. Um, but it's blowing a gale. So let me crack on, get this tripod down the ground and hopefully it's going to stay up. It is dry-ish, grey skies, but I think they're going to be clouds are too high for rain. Did I say there was no rain? It's starting to spit rain already. I don't believe it. Like I said, I've, um, I've driven a buggy. That's the first time for quite a while. Uh, I've driven down to the 13th, just going to play these holes. Um, but the rain's coming. Oh, great. bit low that's okay first first swing of the day cold swing of the day we crack on this could be quite a short video it is absolutely throwing now and again that wasn't expected today although quite frankly it's pretty much expected every day isn't it right now oh, I thought it was going to be a good good afternoon but oh, we shall see that board is over here it's um, over there it's actually really good uh, everything on this uh, 13th pole if you hit right, it goes to the left, it lands down off a slope. Hit straight, it goes to the left. We're on the fairway. We're past the marker post. That's good for me anyway. Um, so, like I said, the, the thing about today is really, we're just gonna discuss, well, two things. Evening golf, or at late afternoon golf, or morning golf, what do you prefer? When we tend to do course vlogs, we like to do either seriously early morning, so we get out in front of everybody, or about two o'clock in the afternoon start in the summer so that because the courses are quiet they're really quiet and they are right now i've got about you know about 12 or 14 people maybe on the course so it's like millionaire golf you've got a place to yourself do you like uh, do you like evening golf like when you, if you finish work you just want to come and play six holes or nine holes i used to do that in west cornwall a lot because obviously i live quite near to there and i work quite near to there when i have my art studio nearby uh, Morgan Porth Golf Club is quite away from my house. It's about an hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half, depending on the traffic sometimes. So it's a bit of a drive, but I'm here and I'm enjoying it. Rain has just stopped. That was quite a shower. Hopefully that's all it's going to be. So that was actually an excellent drive for me. Uh, kept low, so kept under the wind. That was good. Up the hill. Everything sweeps down right to left here. So uh, we make good distance. Still quite a long way to the green. At my level, I'd just be happy to get there in three. So, they got a five iron. Oh, hooked a bit left. The wind's blowing quite bad. Bit wild. Well, bit wild. Ropey starts of the day. That's okay. I'm out on the course, and that's, that's better than nothing. Okay, like a lot of people at the moment, game's not good. But, long season to come. Let's, uh, let's try and get on the green. Lovely. That'll do. Okay. So, bit of a long putt. Bit of a right to left. Camera, yep. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, not bad. Not bad. I think we'll call that as an in. We go on to the next. Okay, hole 14 is about 180 odd yards downhill. Try and keep it left. I'm hooking everything badly left right now. So I probably will end up left. Actually, that was a bit straight and a bit right. But that's okay. It's gonna bounce down the hill, be close to the green. So I will say one of the things I do miss by not having a golf course that I'm a member of near where I live. And that's just popping down for a few holes in the evening. But I love Merlin, sorry, Morgan Porf. Uh, and I love the people here. So it's very important for me as an aspect of a golf club that you like the people that you're involved with here. But it's also just great on an evening, late afternoon, just play some golf by yourself. Of course, 
I'm with you today. So, what you don't want to be is long, because you drop off the back and you've got a seriously difficult shot to play back on. Also, can slope again a little bit left to right, but we're relatively straight. A little bit short, bump and run, hoping onto the green. Obviously, got a little bit of wear here. Of course, it's got to get healed, haven't they? Healed after the last few months, really. But the greens are looking good. Ooh. And we'll take that. We absolutely, oh, we will. Go on, we'll take, we will take that. We will take that a lot. Now, I will say, I've never got a par on this hole. Four feet, a bit right to left, I think. It's a tricky hole for me. And if you're on that side of the green, well, it's a, it's a lovely undulating green, but, hmm, added pressure. It would be nice to get a par. Yes, I do. Fantastic. But now, what I'm trying to say, so I'm trying to pretend a microphone here, it's very windy. When you're by yourself, you get a chance to kind of play, I don't know, your own kind of mind games, really. So for me, sometimes it's just trying to well, get a par on certain holes. Take them off your little list of your own personal challenge, your own course. Plus, when it's really quiet, I don't know if it's fishy allowed or not, but sometimes you can take a couple of shots. Um, you know, practice a few things. If you're not delaying anybody, you'll be fine. So, get on to the next. So, hole 15 is a lovely par four. Goes sweep, goes up and sweeps out to the right. Some years ago on this channel, when Badger was here, it would be great if we can get Badger back at some point. Uh, he hit a massive big driver wedge. I could do that. Up and straight out. But our dog just get it out of there today. Oh, that's a little bit left. Safe, but no real cigar. Still, it's almost like I planned it. We're gonna go and see the little robot. So like I said on the first hole, right now for me, it's just getting closer. Um, gonna go with the fairway wood, even though I'm not on the fairway, but on the fairway, it's a lovely little robotic, well, lawnmower really, I guess. So, We'll drive by that in a minute, hopefully I won't damage it. That's okay. Apparently long, along the fairway. Oh, and it's up on the rough. Such is life. Now I do love the green keepers here, I love the green keepers everywhere. I'd rather like that too. I think my wife might like that on our little garden. We might have a very big garden. But it'd save a lot of effort, wouldn't it? Quite frankly, though, our garden is a bit like a jungle right now because four months of not being able to get on it. Quite long grass. That just shows the dedication and the hard work of actual green keepers and people who run courses for us because, quite frankly, if they, weren't, if they were worried about going out in the rain and the storms and everything else, we'd be playing, well, we'd be playing on jungles, wouldn't we, right now? Well, I'll say, it's doing a very good job of cutting a really nice fire rate, just a shame I can't get on it and show you. Uh, okay, still quite a way to go. Uphill, this is a really tough, I think for me, for the last six holes in this, um, on this course. So, we're doing okay. Better, it'll fall off, but slightly to the right. But that's okay, near enough for a chip on. So, we've got a chance for chip on. We're gonna go with a 50 wedge again. That worked on the, on the first hole we played. Worked again, certainly for my level. So, I was just giving a thumbs up to a couple of lads. We're playing that par three that we just played. And uh, they'll probably catch me up by the time I get to 17th. Uh, sometimes, even though you're playing by yourself, you still get people watching, probably because of the camera. But I got a thumbs up for both of them before I acknowledged back, so obviously they're quite pleased with my shot. So was I. Not a bad putt. Come on, it's going to give you range, isn't it? 
yeah. Let's carry on. Okay, hull 16, 469 yards, power 5. With the wind behind, chance to open your swing, John. Well, it can go anywhere, but hopefully it'll go in the right, vaguely the right direction anyway. That's a little bit right. But we can play that. We can play that. Uh, this new swing in wide. Keep getting a bit of an open face. So, do you play a lot of solo golf? Especially on the evenings, uh, after work and stuff? What do you think? Do you like the idea or are you one of these people who have to go out and play with lots of other people? It's not that I don't want to play with other people. I don't have, have anyone to play with. Sounds really sad, like Billy No Mates, but, but because of the channel, and I'm not really a member of anywhere where a lot of the Buccaneers play, don't often get a chance to play with other people that I kind of know. So it's a bit strange, kind of being a member of a course where you're about an hour and a half away from where you are. But uh, it's just nice, nice to come out sometimes. Don't mind being by myself. I'm not by myself, I'm not alone. I'm with you lot, so. We just carry on. <laughs> going solo, I right know. Okay, hopefully you're gonna see this because I left my glasses in the buggy. <laughs> uh, so, working on the screen. For some reason the screen's a bit dark today. Let's try and get back on the fairway. And let's not worry about a bad shot. It's a par five, I've got the shots. Back in the game. So we've got to go seven iron. The flag is over all that mound of rough where we actually bounce a bit too far. Hit too strong a shot, John. So I could play a bit safe and go right, or I can go for it. I'm going to probably try and go in between the two and have a shot onto the green. I don't think I could get there with this. Don't have a range finder or anything on me at the moment. So we're going to just play it safe. Get it into space where we can actually see where we're going properly. Well, that went very well. Uh, that was almost course management, John. That's something maybe you can learn when you're kind of by yourself, especially on your home course, work out which shots work. This shot would have ended up somewhere up on the rough up here. So seven wouldn't have been the distance from there anyway, but if I was playing seven, it would have got me the nice spot. I'm gonna go dinky eight, just to see if course management actually works. That's not bad, I think the wind slowed it down. But that might have to be quick, because it might pull it back the other way. So, in hindsight, maybe I should have walked up and checked how far the flag was from where I needed to go. Uh, it stored on the top, maybe hit it harder, would have come down nearer. That's okay. Two, three, four, five. Uh, 30 odd feet, 35 feet. I get it in two, I'll be very happy. Got the right pace. Still worried about a little bit of slope going right to left. Sorry, left to right. But we'll certainly take that. I'm not sure what the score was, but it doesn't really matter. You're playing by yourself. You're going solo. So, another par five, according to those signs. I have noticed they haven't changed the names of the signs yet. They are changing as many of the big signs as possible. And obviously some of the hole markers are waiting for new ones. Into a howling gale right now. And rightly on the channel the other week when we filmed here, we gave up on this hole due to the weather. Let's try not to give up on it this time. Well, you know, that's probably one of my best shots of the day. I'm not sure if our distance is slightly right off the fairway, I think. 
Let's keep going. That tripod is so low right now, just it was so wide to try and stop that camera from falling over. I really can't afford to break another camera. Okay, so the good news is I've worked out on this new camera why the screen went dark, and that's because it had some raindrops on it. There we go. Just clean them off, and the screen, screen's got brighter, so hopefully I can see where I'm going. So, a long way. I'm going with a fairway wood, which is a big risk for me. I really need some lessons again. Although, seeing that, that's not bad. Always bounce up over the rough and further on. I'm not used to when I actually hit decent shots, how far they're going. It's really difficult to find the ball nowadays. So we ended up just on top of a little mound. I'm going to go seven iron again for me to get closer. In a way, I'd like to perhaps be chipping, which is kind of working today for me. Full swing, John, nice and steady. Oh, hit out heavy. But that's kind of the problem with an upslope, I guess. That's okay. Just got a longer shit than we all did. So, I'm going to go with a little pitch and run. Perhaps a bit of Lynx golf stuff today, maybe. Oh, a bit thin, maybe. But. When you're on the green, you're on the green. So, although I hit that bit of fin, it kind of worked. Sometimes you have to ride your luck a little bit. Another big long putt, this time uphill. Um, yeah, this time uphill. We'll finish this hole and have a little chat. Then there's one to go. Oh, show you past. They say past is better than short, but hmm, that's a tricky little one. I say little, four foot. Oh, oh well, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Again, we're just playing sailor. So a lot of people watching this are probably wondering why I say I've got no one to play with. I seem to be playing golf all the time. In reality, I'm not. Um, I think the problem for me was, I started this YouTube channel, April Fool's Day, I know, seven years ago, no, seven. And uh, I started it virtually when I started golf, when I started learning golf. Quick adjustment of this camera, sorry. So, in a strange way, from the moment I almost picked up a club, started doing some work with Matt, Matt Tunner, the professor, who's now gone on to bigger and better things. Uh, I carried a camera with me. And I guess for me, the priority was always going to be YouTube, it was always going to be making the films, because I'm a creative person, I'm an artist anyway. And the golf, whilst the golf wasn't secondary, the golf was fun but it was also nice to put it in front of you and a lot of people don't want to play with a camera in front of them fair enough plus because although like here I was a member at West Cornwall at the time uh, I didn't get to play as much as I'd like because I was filming everywhere else so you don't build up a strong group of people and it took me a few years to actually get uh, you know a nice strong little click of people uh, in West Cornwall. Now, obviously, I moved under a cloud, left West Cornwall. Merlin were lovely, they were quite happy about me to come and film, etc. So, I became a member here, and that's what I've done today. I've actually popped in to pay my memberships. So, that's all done for the year. But again, I said it's, it's quite a long way from me. Uh, and I haven't had a chance to kind of play here in just our normal comps. Life gets in the way, especially when you have to prioritise your days off, etc., for filming to create videos. So, the little time I have got is spent for you. For me to just play, but for you, so that you get videos to watch. I hope that's okay. Hasn't improved my golf. Um, and probably has meant I've 
lost a few friends along the way who were kind of part of the channel then not part of the channel and then I had to change things around and oh big little truck going by or a big truck going by so it can get a little bit I guess it could say a bit lonely sometimes um, and it's quite interesting or some some might say frustrating it's been frustrating today uh, so I'm, that's why I'm not ranting but if I'm saying it uh, to logistically get everyone together to um, to play on the days that are available. I'm trying to organise something for next Tuesday at a course. The course has now said we can't do it because they're unhappy with the state of their condition of their course. These things happen, so I've got to find somewhere else. But then one person will say they've got a day off, another person will say they haven't got a day off, two or three will say they might have a day off. So the, the pressures to try to organise films are quite tricky. So in a way, sometimes these are the only things I can do. Pop out, do solo videos by myself. I'd love to do some more to Cornish Quest and we will organise that as soon as we can once some courses accept us on and when we can get some of the gang together. Sometimes it might be in twos, sometimes it might be threes, sometimes it might be fours. But I've said I've got my membership now for this year. Are you going to become a member anywhere this year? Have you given up being a member? The last few months may have put a lot of people off. You know, are you wasting your money or are you not wasting your money? There's always been that debate about whether you should be a member of a golf club or not. There's a lot of opportunities to not be a member and still play quite a lot. And uh, if you, unless you can play quite a lot, so say you're retired or you've got lots of free time when you're not working, you don't have so much family issues, etc. Um, it's probably quite worth it, no matter what fee you pay for membership. But sometimes it's not. Maybe, uh, maybe there should be a summer membership or something. I don't know. I heard something the other day about someone saying they... I think a summer membership might be quite a good idea at some courses because the winter you just can't play. So there's an option for some courses, I guess. Uh, I guess that's one of the reasons why Neil is struggling a little bit on the channel right now is because you know he's got family thing to do. Fair enough, young baby. Yeah, honestly, it takes away your free time, Neil, doesn't it? Eh? Uh, so we're trying to get Neil on the channel, and again, the the lighter evenings that might help. Sometimes he might be able to pop out just for an hour, go to Hell Golf, do a bit of practice, do a review of some kind more about that on another video but unless you're kind of you know retired i guess now certainly at my age i'm 58 unless some of the people i know most both most of them i knew at west cornwall either had businesses that they could do their own thing a little bit or they retired um they probably don't play as much as they like i would like to take part in some of the comps at, uh, here at morgan port be a bit of a laugh but i just don't have the time youtube you you lot out there my priority Still, let's play the 18th. So, hope you can hear because the thing about early evening is obviously the roads are getting a bit busier. But uh, we're on hole 18, 338 yards, I believe. Par four to the clubhouse. There's a pond upon the left, which will probably have issues on the second shot, maybe in the third for me. Um, let's try and get it out there. I think the wind is well, to be honest, I have no idea. The wind's changed direction two or three times already. Oh, five holes and I'm starting to hit them straight. Not always the case. Five holes and you're hitting them straight. Let's go and find that one. So, if you can hear a plane just taking off from Newquay Airport. I'm going seven iron. That's a really good shot for me. That's, a, that's 200 yards. Don't get that from me very often now, do you? Right. Oh, scuffed it out to the right. People on the camera probably go, you're not even aiming the right way. But that's all right. We can practice on shipping again. So I'd like to have finished with a flourish, but you know, maybe that won't happen. But that's okay. I'm going to go 50 wedge again. Little pond in front. Don't even think about the pond, John. It's not there green is. The green is there. On the green is good enough for me. So, final hopefully a couple of shots of the day. It's tough keeping a channel like this going. Most YouTube channels will say the same. But we all want to keep going. What I earn on both my channels together is about, well, about £100, if I'm lucky, per month.
Very weak, John. Very weak. Oh, and the wind's rolling it back too. But it would be nice if we can get some support out there. If you love what I do, if you've got a business you want me to try and promote a little bit, if you want to sponsor the channel in some way, if you're a golf company, if you're just fans, join the membership. I know you're not getting a lot out of it right now, but you did get priority for the golf tee tickets. There will be other things coming along as the channel progresses. Just help me out. Help me keep this channel going because I love doing what I do. And I will try and meet some of you and play golf because golf going solo is fine. Golf with friends is just very different, but very cool too. I'll see you on another video very soon. Drop me a line by email or a PM me if you've got any details um, about any sponsorships. Bye. Speak soon.